Oh, had a little chat with my neighbor. So anyway, I was saying, it has been one of those afternoons and it is beautiful. And I'm now looking at the moon on one side and the sun is just set on the other. And we're sitting out here at my neighbor's house, hanging out in the sand pile, which is really where all our trouble started earlier today because Amos was out here and started throwing their toys in the water. So I had to get on the freaking four-year-old's kayak in a nice dress to get the toys. Well, the kayak I haven't been on probably ever is very small and has holes. So I was drenched and like wanting to kill him all at the same time. But anyway, took the kayak out, fetched the trucks and thought to myself, if I go under in this water, I'm going to be mad at somebody. And I could not even figure out the right person to be mad at. It's hard to be mad at an almost nine year old with autism who I had already made mad. We, we were angry at each other. So anyway, we're doing better. Hey, Susan, we're doing better. A little, little crying, little, little tears, you know, and this week I was with somebody and she kept saying, you know, it's the same for all parents. All parents have these issues. And I was like, I finally, I couldn't take it any longer. And I love her, but I was like, no, it's not. It's not the same because I, my, I probably have more in common with a parent of a two-year-old than I do a parent of a typically developing child. Like, really, it's like having a toddler. And he's will be, how old are you going to be next week? Nine. Nine. It's going to be nine next week. It's very exciting, Amos. And you know what we're going to do for your birthday? Did mommy tell you? Listen, you want mommy to whisper it in your ear? Come here. Let me tell you. Okay, look. Come here. You want mommy to tell you? Oh, no. Come here. He wrecked Listen. that house of okay. parents. Listen, I'm going to whisper. We're going to go on our helicopter. What was that? What did I say? A roar. What are we going to do on your birthday? I want to go on an airplane. Not an airplane. A what? A train. No, a he. Uh, Did you forget? Let me tell you. <laughs> a helicopter. A helicopter. We have to fly with mommy. Yes. So we got Bubba Bundy from Gates, North Carolina. And Bubba has a helicopter. And he has offered to take... Amos and Mommy and Sissy on the helicopter on his birthday. Bubba. Bubba. North Carolina, Nine Bubba. Helicopter. North Carolina, then Bubba's helicopter. That's right. <laughs> Look, there's a helicopter. I know. You've never been on a helicopter. Yeah. Sometimes the pressure mounts and it has That's to come a out. Helicopter. Shoo, isn't it right, Abby? Um, and you know, it's okay. It's Friday. There's something really great about a Friday. We don't have to like go, 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 go on every schedule. Um, we got super nice neighbors who don't care if we throw their toys in the water, but it just gets frustrating, but we're working hard at not doing that. Aren't we Amos? We're trying to get his medicine, right? You know, I'm thankful to have an awesome pediatric psychiatrist. Who's like, okay, let's try the guanfacine three times a day or the buspirone or can we increase his trazodone? Maybe you should work with the speech therapist, the occupational therapist and try to learn to swallow pills. <sighs> it's okay. My husband's taking our daughter to play tennis. My big boys are happy on a Friday night. Vroom, vroom. vroom. So anyway. I just was, I don't know what I was doing. I just was thinking, yeah. I wonder if you ever lost patience. Yes, I lost patience. Yes, I smacked him. I full on smacked him and then felt terrible. I'm not like a spanker, but I was like, I don't know what else to do, you know? And then that hurts his feelings and that hurts me, fe my feelings. And then I, my first thought is how do other parents do this? Like I'm not a single parent. 
I have help. I have a pediatric psychiatrist. I have awesome teachers. I have great school administrators. I have a giant sand pile next to my house to play on. Um, and it is so hard. It is hard. God, it's hard. I mean, it is awesome and joyful. I think there's always this part of us that doesn't want to like complain too much because if we complain too much, then somebody might think that our kids aren't worth having and they are worth having and they're wonderful. You know, I'll probably never run a marathon. I'm never going to climb Mount Kilimanjaro or Everest. I'm never going to like, you know, I don't know, do anything that's amazing. But I will say that I have parented Amos and I've made it nine years. And there's something, there's something to be said for parents of kids with special needs that make it. I mean, we can do it, you know? Um, and boy, I need my tribe. I'm so thankful for it. I've got subscribers who like are there for me as much as I'm there for them. And we have these hard talks about stuff like this. And you know, you don't always feel like everybody understands or that you have a soft place to fall. Was Amos nonverbal early in the early years? Yes, he was nonverbal, Alyssa. He said mama 10 months, but then he didn't say daddy until maybe three and a half. Um, and now as my daughter says, he doesn't not talk. What? Up one. Well, you want to put it on the big sand pile? That's a big splash. That is a big splash. I think it's, we're going to have to buy the next load of sand for out here. Um, and some kids never talk and some do. And some kids go to college and some don't. Some go to regular school and some don't. Um, wait to hear that you don't spank until today. <laughs> I honestly just didn't know what else to do. And then I had read this thing that was up and it was this parenting expert. I mean, I love somebody being a parenting expert. And no offense, but the parenting expert had three neurotypical children. Uh, you know who was a parenting expert when they had three neurotypical children? Me! Me! I was the, I was so smart and such a good expert. I mean, I had it all down. I had these children and they were nice and smart and thin and ate well and they just were wonderful. And then I had Scooby-Doo over there. And suddenly I have somebody like throwing toys in the water, kicking me, dropping the F-bomb, sleeping in my bed. I mean, everything goes to pot. And I'm the same mom that I've always been. Salt Blake Harvester. Salt Blake Harvester. And anyway, this parenting expert of these three neurotypical children says never. Well, one... I don't believe Cuff in the word blade never. Blade harvester. Cut blade harvester. Carve blade harvester. Carve, carve blade harvester. Curve. Curve. Blade curve harvester. blade harvester. Curve blade. And um, the word never, like, basically, like, makes me feel ill. But she said, you never, never, I don't use the word never, like, ever. Never, ever. Maybe I'll just write a post on never, ever. Never, ever say never. Never use time out. I mean, you, there is a time and a place for most everything other than like, you know, stabbing. Never, ever use time out. Well, today I put his ass in time out in the guest room because I didn't want to hurt him. So don't say to a parent, never do something because you can't always anticipate what is happening in someone's mind, you know? Anyway, that never business. Oh, I just whew, got, my, got my blood pressure up. Never, <laughs> never. Oh, golly, I'll tell you what. You clearly love your Amos and he loves you. Oh, I do love him and we love him and my family loves him. And he is valuable and wonderful and amazing. 
And yes, I am. Does he not jump in the water? No, he does not jump in the water. So we have a fence in our yard. That's our yard. So if, if he's out here, I'm out here with him. Um, I mean, I guess he could jump in the water, but I don't think he would. He doesn't like to be cold. Kids need discipline. Well, see, there's the statement. Kids need discipline. I think that person is saying is time out is not appropriate discipline. It's Dead probably not a lot of the time. Dot Dead polka dot circle. He's been bossing me a long time. Um, you know, I think the same thought of like, kids have consequences and all those rules are wonderful until you have somebody that's maybe a little bit different. Or maybe you have a parent that's just tired and old and it's Friday and the parent just wants to like wallow, you know? And then not happening. No. So anyway, that's all I got. I got nothing. Nothing. Except to tell you that you're not alone and I see you respect you so much more now to be able to be real like this has made me love you well, I hope so we are just human yeah yeah being human you know I spoke earlier this week in Richmond to the Tuckahoe Wom Women's Club and um, one thing I talked about which was not my idea I think I heard it from Beth Moore or somebody was that we compare our insides to other people's outsides and that's always struck me because when you try to look like you've got it all together and everything's wonderful if you'd seen me in my nice navy blue dress from charlotte's and raleigh this afternoon you would have thought this girl's got it together right well then if you had seen me an hour later wet in the murk in this water crying getting toys out you saw a whole different adrian and I guess it's important to me for you to see both, to see that you can have it together and be good, but sometimes things go wrong and that's okay too. Yeah. And you can, it's okay to show your ass in that moment because people need to see that it's hard and somebody else understands and they're doing this too. You know, when I wake up in the night, it's three in the morning, I know that there's some other mom out there awake and there's just something about that that's so nice of like I have this tribe um we have to be honest about it three little birds raising kids on the spectrum so isolating yes totally agree all types of autism you're the hardest working honest living mom let's not forget strong oh shit. well I do try but I'm not the best I mean I try the sun moon where's the sun moon here. That's the moon. And the sun was over there. Remember, it just set. Are you drawing it? Tell me about what you're drawing. The sun moon. Is that the sun moon? Just there. The sun moon. No, and you, you're just going to have hard days. Blanket child rearing statements. <laughs> I'm up all hours of the night. My she is down center. I'm almost 27, improving with age. Can't love any more and more. Yes, frustration sleeps with me but that's okay too Whew. i mean i think i need one of those beds like angelina jolie and brad pitt had it was like evidently bigger than a king <laughs> basically i need a room that's just a mattress so we have like some cats the dog some children <laughs> oh golly I mean, we might not make it. All we do is play like musical beds in our house. It's bad times, bad times. Um, but anyway, 
Well, if you need a soft place to fall, you found it. And if you want to spend five bucks a month and have a group that you feel like doesn't judge and understands th this is your place. Um, and you don't have to. I do regular videos, but I do videos every day over there. Um, and it is a place that I feel generally a little bit safer about kind of sharing the ins and outs of life, you know. Um, and I think it's such a different era with Facebook and social media that we can share this kind of stuff because I can't imagine 20 years ago how isolated I would have been. I would have been sitting out here on this beach and not know anybody like myself in my town. No one. No one else. And how lonely that is, you know, where instead I can talk to my friend Kate Swenson of Finding Cooper's Voice or my friend Carrie Cariello of What Color is Monday and I can like hear and get advice and learn all sorts of things. It's so nice. Do something for you, please. Well, I do. My husband says I'm very good at self-preservation. Um, we take turns. Um, and I've got it good. I've got a husband and a teenagers that are helpful. And I have a nanny because I work. I mean, I have it pretty good. But it's still hard. Um, and I just want to acknowledge that not in a whiny way but just so that some other mom out there is going to say you know what like I can do this I can do this and I can sit on the couch and feed somebody some PJ Masks cereal and I'm going to be fun fine you know um so anyway kitty God gives special children to special parents Oh, well, that was nice, Kitty. Sometimes, though, when somebody says that to me, I, I think, does God, do you hate me? I mean, not all the time, but that does cross my mind. Like, what did I do to deserve this hardship? But, you know, there's something about being able to say that out loud and acknowledging it that then makes you laugh. And if you said to me, here, I'll take Amos and give you somebody else. I'd be like, no, no, he's mine. I love him and adore him. But yeah, it's hard. It can be hard. But y'all have a good, um, good weekend. Subscribers, see you in the morning. Look forward to a nice leisurely coffee chat.